Hey, I'm Carly Pierce, and this is The High Notes. We got to talk to your assistant, Sydney, earlier in this year. How do you kind of look at the people who are surrounding you on your team? When I tell you that I quite literally could not survive without my team, I could not survive without my team. My managers, to my band, to my assistant, to my glam, to my stylists, my publicists, um, they're my friends. This is a hard life. It's a very isolating life. And if you don't have good people around you and also don't have people that will call you out when you're being whatever. I do not surround myself with yes people. I surround myself with people that really do care about me as a person. We don't fight anymore. Mm -hmm. What was the kind of like the initial idea for that song? I wrote this song not chasing anything. I just wanted to write a really sad song. <laughs> and I felt like this was a topic that was so simple but hadn't really been said this direct. I like to make people feel things and I also like to talk about the uncomfortable moments that maybe if somebody's riding in the car or listening to this at home, maybe it makes them realize really where they are in their relationship. I think it's an impactful message that if people were honest with themselves, they found themselves in that position or are in that position. This song, I'm really proud of what it says and the musicality of it. Obviously having literally one of the greatest voices of all time singing with you on your song is wild. And it's just, I think the way that we tell the story is really powerful in the performance. It's everything that I could have hoped. You tell me the story of how you actually got Chris on the track. You were sliding some DMs there. I have had a lot of different collaborations and they've all been just my weird, quirky ideas. And this one was no different. When I wrote this song, I didn't hear it as a collaboration until I got the song back and I thought, God, wouldn't it be crazy to have Chris Stapleton sing on it? Said everyone ever. I just thought if I send this song to my team and it goes through his team, it may not ever get to him. So I knew his wife better than I knew him. She's an incredible artist and I've always been a fan of her since I moved to town. And I slid into her DMs and I said, Morgan, I know that you probably get this a lot, but could you please play this song for Chris? And here we are performing it on the CMAs. The music video obviously is very unique as well. I think there's like a really cool story with Lucy Hale and mm -hmm. how that's kind of like a full circle moment for mm -hmm. you as well. Back before anybody knew who I was, when I was trying to pay my bills, I was approached to be a backup singer in a music video for Pretty Little Liar star Lucy Hale when she was a country artist. And I just went up to her manager at the end of the shoot and I said, hey, if you ever really need a backup singer, call me. And a few months later they called me and I was her backup singer for a year and I lived in LA for four months. And I kind of flew out to LA thinking maybe my voice is supposed to be used to help support others because I just felt so low. And she YouTubed me <laughs> and uh, after one day of rehearsal said, you're not meant to sing behind me. You're so talented. And she kind of made it her mission as Instagram was starting to make her followers aware of me, yada, yada, yada. I get a record deal, we stay in touch. And this just, she's become a dear friend of mine, one of my closest, just true friends. And this music video, it didn't feel like I could portray it correctly. And I just asked her if she would be a part of it. And this is why she is the actress that she is because what she did in the video and just having that moment with her 10 years later is something I'll always be really thankful for. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and check out more videos here on the official CMA YouTube channel. <laughs> One more time. The official CMA, what? <laughs> Give me a teleprompter and I got it. <laughs>